Ooh, energy healing and um, pets. Or not even just pets, wildlife as well, come to think of it. But the family member pets that we've had over the years. Um, we've got, we had the dogs, chickens, uh, cockatiels, mice. We even had a cat there for a, a short period of time. Um, the dogs that come to visit from the street. Uh, the horses that we have around us. Everything, you know, from a massive horse to a tiny little mouse. <laughs> you can use energy healing on your animals. And uh, Sherbet, he was one of um, our dogs. Sherbet and Cashew. And they were both um, 16 when they passed over. A couple of years apart from each other. But Sherbet loved energy healing. He got to the old age where he would limp he had arthritis and you know all the stuff that goes with an older dog sometimes he was only a small one he was on a pomeranian so i turned my hands on i'd hold my hands out and sherbet would limp over and he'd just fall into my hands and fall asleep there but he, he loved it but cashew on the other hand she hated hated energy healing because <laughs> she'd get so hot and she'd huff and puff and carry on like oh my god get your hands off me but there are things that you can do when an animal gets like that. And I'll tell you what, after Sherbet and Cashew did pass over, just growing with this whole energy healing experience, and the more you use it, the more you grow. It, it is a big growing space that just expands your consciousness, expands your awareness, expands the abilities that we've all got access to, but many of us don't use. You know, when you when you start using something, you're in the momentum of it and it's going to grow. It's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And for me, energy healing has done just that. So when Sherbet passed over, I could tune into his energy still. Because just because our physical body dies, our energy still goes on. So our spirit, which is energy, continues. So I could still tune into Sherbet after he had left his body. Same with Cashew, after she had passed over. God, that was funny. After she had gone, she hung around the house for a few days because that dog just loved food. <laughs> but I had to talk to her energy to help her to move on. And I've helped other people with their pets. Pets have come through and I've tuned into their energy. Look, if you want to use energy healing for your pet or for your family or for yourself or even take it up to a business opportunity if you like click on the links below learn some more and come and join us and you also have access to our online community of beautiful people who are going through their energy healing growth as well um, it's a phenomenal journey um, it's we're all energy it's what we are so why not learn how to use what you already are.